Aloha everyone, welcome back with Brian. Thank you guys so much for coming to this amazing channel that's all talking about K1 visa and adjustment status. And I do hope you guys having a wonderful week. And thank you to so many of you folks who's been supporting this channel, who's been there from the very beginning. To all the new subscribers, thank you so much uh, for subscribing and tuning in for our latest updates on K1 visa and, and AOS. And if this is your first time coming to this channel, my name is Brian. I am from Honolulu, Hawaii, and I'm showcasing uh, my previous uh, uh, wife that was going through a K-1 visa. She was originally from Thailand. She got approved. She went through the K-1 visa interview. She's here in America. We finally got married, and she's official a permanent residence to the United States. So guys, just want to say thank you guys so much for from the bottom of my heart to my wife. We are so happy and humble that every one of you folks has been there for us and i want to make sure i can be there for you folks going through this journey and to making sure you guys are properly getting approved when it comes to k1 visa or through adjustment status because we all need to make sure we can all help each other and get through this hardest point of our lives to be reunited to our fiance and to get married and to that person to come to the united states but this video guys is all about entertainment purpose only i am not a financial advisor I don't work for Immigration Service. I don't work for USCIS. Um, pretty much all I do is I know a few people from Immigrations and I do all my research so I can provide all those latest updates to you folks and to make sure that you guys are going through this journey smoothly as possible. But this video guys is going to be pretty much when you folks are going through a adjustment of status, you finally got the approval, you're now a permanent resident. You guys are officially married to the person who is now a permanent resident this video is going to be pretty much about you and then what you guys can go for so this video is going to be about how to get a job in america so for coming from my experience um my wife was pretty much got a job here in america in hawaii and the first thing we did was making sure that they first got their permanent residence card you folks have your social security card and also you can also to need a state ID or driver's license. Those are going to be the three main things in order to making sure you are ready to go to get a job. Now, the next thing you should definitely want to I recommend is that I, a lot of people do this. So hopefully this can actually make this happen for you folks. Uh, so your spouse can actually go on this website called Indeed. It's I N D. EED.com. Indeed.com is a way for a lot of people to looking for a specific job in their category and you can break it down to how many hours you want to work, full time, location, job preference, um, looking for salary. Do you want to have on call, part time, full time? So, what you want to do is you want to set up an account on Indeed. You're going to make sure you have a profile ready. You're going to make sure you have a updated resume. You can update it and load it up to that website. And then from there, you can categorize everything that you want and start submitting your resume to all the job preference that you want to go forward. And then from there, you know, you can definitely start submitting. The employer will definitely will reach out to you if your resume is all up to date or if it's actually good as well, too. And then they'll follow up with a phone call, interview, set you up a time and appointment. And then there you can definitely go for it. Now, it's okay and don't be nervous when it comes to not hearing anything back from an employer because maybe some employers can be very selective of what they want to hire at the same time too. So don't be discouraged, you know, start sending as much application to jobs that you want to go for. You know, be specific of what you want of like pay, hours, full time. You know, look at all the benefits that they offer. And if that's something, a job you want, submit as well too. Now, I would recommend that, you know, to get a job as soon as possible. So then that way you can establish your green card. So then that way when you guys go into your two years, your upcoming two years, because you have to renew it, you know, uh, the USCIS. Um, does want to take a look at your record if you actually have a job, what you've been doing. So then that way you're not wasting anybody's time as well too. Because after two years, you're gonna, definitely going to renew it. 
and that's going to be set you up for another 10 years after that going forward. So, you know, make sure that you get a job, make sure it's stable, make sure it has a flexible hour stability as well. And then, you know, just start submitting. Um, we did it and we got a lot of feedbacks when it comes to uh, my wife's when it comes to a job. You know, we want to make sure that uh, we went through all the interviews. We were very selected of what she wants and she got a job and now she's super happy. So be happy in finding a job. Yes, it could be very discouraging. You know, it's your first time coming to America. Maybe there's a language barrier you're not going to be familiar with. But don't be ashamed because there's so many people around the world that has a hard time speaking, but they make it work. I mean, I live in Hawaii. There's so many people who, I'm just giving an example, who works at a restaurant, barely speaks great English, but they make it work because they actually can understand, they can take the order down, make sure the food is coming on time. But you know what? It's all based on experience. You get to learn. You get to learn about their culture, um, their business at the same time. Too. You get to learn about their language, how people talk. So it's a good way to adapt going forward. And this is a perfect time, guys, to actually get a job because it is summertime. Summertime is coming up. There's going to be a lot of places that's going to be looking for new hires, summer jobs, looking for people looking for full time. So go as much as you can going to like food and beverage services. You can go to retail shopping centers. You can definitely go for amusement parks as well too. You can definitely go for um, anything when it comes to hotels. Hotels has a lot of job opportunities. So don't waste your any time, you know, working um, at a simple job. Take the opportunity to grow because if this is going to be a career, you know, you want to make sure you want to select a job that's going to be more full time and longevity. Um, so we were very blessed that my wife found a really great job. She's full time, great benefits. And this is going to uh, set her up in long term because, you know, we are both finally making income. It helps everyone out when it comes to finances, their billings and to making sure they set you up for um, better success at the same time. So I just want to make a video about like how you can definitely get a job. So definitely check out Indeed.com. It's a really great website. It's authentic. It's legit. And it's a good way to upload your resume. You can upload your picture. You can upload a cover letter of how you want to send a nice message uh, to the employer. And if someone does reach back to you, they can respond back to you by phone call. They're going to respond back to you by messages on the inbox. So I recommend using that. It's a great way. And we got to my wife got a job not joking guys uh within two weeks that's how fast you know that we were getting applications and interviews um by the time my wife got approved for her adjustment status and she was a permanent resident we submitted like right away and within the first two days she got at least five interviews within one day to the next and just kept going on and on and then from there we break it down to which one we really wanted and she got it and she's super happy so I hope this video will be a little bit insight of how you folks can go forward, how it can set you up for better success in finding a job. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and hit that like button, smash the comments down below and tell me what you guys think about this video. I hope this video was informative. I'm um, going forward. Let's get up to, as always, 10,000 subscribers, guys, because that's the goal that I really want to showcase as much love and aloha to give you guys more updates when it comes to K-1 visa, adjustment status. And thank you guys so much for always believing in my videos. And, you know, if there's anything I can do, you can always message me on Instagram. I'm always being more responsive when it comes to that. Leave, leave a comment down below and I can always respond back to you guys. So I just want you guys to have a wonderful, enjoyable weekend coming up. You guys be safe. Stay calm when it comes to your, your guys' journey. Do not rush anything. Make sure everything is organized, precise to what you guys are going through. And you guys will be fine. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And take care and aloha.